Thank you for coming out, Clarence. Thank you for coming out. So let's let's talk about the, the big game against Mandarin. Uh, a hard fought game. I think y'all blew it open. Uh, Tess, let's just talk about you. Um, four touchdowns in the game. You scored various times. Talk about uh, performing at such a high level against a great team. Well, you know, uh, coach called the right play for me. Uh, my old lineman and receivers, they stepped up the block and I, I did what I had to do and score. Go to the top. You uh, talk about the first score. You uh, were able to get an end zone on a running play untouched, and, and then you got an end zone again on a running play untouched. It looked like five yards before the end zone, you kind of like slowed up, turned around, man. Like, like you know, talk about being able to uh, score. Uncontested like that. Uh, you know, like I said before, Coach Small shot you know, my old lineman. Coach called my name, called that play for me, and I just came through. You know, uh, I followed on um, the block, and I just cut out, made the play, and scored. Clarence, let's let's talk about you, man. Incredible, incredible play. Uh, I mean, you had an interception, uh, fumble, fumble recoveries. I mean, you were all over the field. I mean, you even either tipped a punt or, or almost blocked it. I mean, uh, what motivated you going into that game to play like a wild man? Now, Taz, you also played defense, and you had an interception in the game, a pick six, a 99-yard interception return for, for a touchdown to close out the game. Talk about that play. Uh, well, you know, it was like one second left for the clock, and it was on like the 10-yard line, and coaches together, I'm saying, like, don't let them score, don't let them score. And let us go. So we, so we turned up, and you know they threw a slant, and my little brother named Slim, he tipped it, and it just popped it to my hands, and I took it all the way back. Call him a block shot. It seems like y'all y'all have a very uh, close knit group, especially on defense. Uh, Clarence, talk about um, the players on defense, and uh, how were you all able to gel so so quickly this year with Tad? Robert Simmons with with Vince with players like that. The practice they practice and so we are being so we did the practice be intent so uh they just been able to be able to be so uh we just get just get Talk about that practice I mean you said it's intense. Is it the first team offense versus first team defense? Oh wow! Well, tell me about that. I mean, uh, I, you know, what is it like to be able to scrimmage against your own team, and and uh, you know, what are some things that goes on down there? Yeah, yeah, real. We call it goal line. So we be on the tie. I mean, we be on the ten, and we got the offense got four down to score. So we get really tense. And if, um, if the offense score, the defense got to do a punishment. And if the defense stop up, we do a punishment. So we take that really, really serious. We try to score. So a big win against Reigns in the graveyard. A big win against Westside. Another big win against Mandarin. Undefeated. Uh, you've got a big test this. Friday, probably your toughest test so far, many believe, uh, many have them ranked number one. Uh, tell us about the big matchup against Lake City, you know, what are you thinking about going into that game? Well, we're just going to follow the code game plan, and we're just going to do what we do, we're not, we're just going to take it one game at a time, one play at a time, we're not going to really too much, do all that extra stuff, we're just going to follow the game plan and do what we do best. You're going to face a quarterback that uh, is none other that you face this season. I mean, talk about being able to practice against someone like Cam, Cam Sapp to be able to prepare you for a mobile quarterback like you'll be facing against Lake City. 
basically, I was in uh, the same quarterback on that. They got some uh, signatures in the NSF. I mean, like, I feel like I'm the biggest in the I'm going to say, hey, you know, it's going to be a good test. All right, before we let you go, we got to ask, of course, uh, when did you start playing football and uh, where? Uh, Taz, we'll start with you. Well, I started uh, when I was like five, six at Sweetwater. That's where I started, and I played all the way out. All right, Sweetwater. Yes, sir. Home of the champions out there, okay? Sweetwater. Sweetwater. We won a national championship and all. We did it all. Shout out to Coach Mike and all the boys that played. All right, looking at a national champion from uh, youth football right here. Yes, sir. All right, Clarence, what about you? First year, I was like 10. That's me. Ten at Sweetwater as well. All right, we got two, two Sweetwaters doing the house. All right, so um, talk about the uh, the process of recruiting, commitment. If if you have committed, you know, if not, just talk about the process of being sought out by different schools. Well, you know, I just um, I don't really think about that too much. I just um, when it's the season here, I just play the game. You know, let everything come to me. Do my school work. I don't really too much focus on to out of the season. I just do my thing. What's up? Okay, so what about you? Uh, I haven't really went to that, uh, went through that yet. So, uh, I feel like it's kind of uh, Next question. Talk about managing uh, the classroom along with the gridiron. Uh, being able to excel in the classroom and uh, on, the, on the football field. Yeah, well, well small, all he would tell us is a mind thing. Like, it's time management and, and, and mind thing. We don't really too much put big on that because we know it's just a mind thing. Can't let it. It's adversity. That's all it was. All right. So always apply yourselves, not only in the classroom, but also on the field as well. Uh, and that's one thing that, that has made you both so successful in high school football. So once again, will you please give a round of applause for Taz Nicholson and Clarence Pontius. The lead generals, they're gonna face Lake City Friday. We're gonna root them on. Thank y'all guys. We'll be there. Where Zaxby's is from. Some like it classic. Some like it saucy. For others, it's gotta be crispy. But everyone loves the flavor that brings us together. And whether you like it spicy or old school, you'll like it even more. Because Zaxby's five fan favorites are now just $5.99 each. Friends, family, flavor, Zaxby's.